Welcome, Penn friends. Today we've got a couple of special guests that have braved the trek to New Jersey to visit us here at Gold Spot Penn's HQ. It's my pleasure to introduce you to John Lane, General Manager of Pilot Penn Corporation of America, and our pilot sales rep, Ben Mazza. John, since you're based in Florida, or Pilot Penn is based in Florida, uh, would I be correct in saying that today's weather in here in New Jersey feels a little bit like home? Uh, it's actually a little cooler here. Yeah, it's a yeah. little cooler, yeah, less it's muggy. A little, little less muggy, yeah. Yeah, it's a, for, for those that don't know, it's like about like 95 degrees outside, and New Jersey is essentially like a swamp right now. So. And I haven't seen any snakes here. No, no, there's really not that many snakes, but... Oh, they just look different here, John. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but uh, we're here today to take a look at uh, some new and bright and shiny pilot pens and for you guys to answer a few uh, questions. So without any further ado, I'll ask, what is the latest and greatest from pilot pens that you have to show us today? Well, every year we have a limited edition Vanishing Point. Vanishing Point's one of our most popular pens. This year is the called the Crossed Lines. It will retail for $257 and there's 2,018 of them made worldwide. And they're each individually numbered and... Yes, they're individually numbered on the back of the ring. Comes with an 18 karat gold nib, special gift box, that's the same gift box as we've had for like the last three or four uh, limited editions. But this was actually uh, uh, Europe's uh, suggestion. We trade every other year, uh, so next year will be ours. We're a little bit different. Um, Europe is usually much more traditional in their pens, whereas we like a little you know, a little color to a little, it. Yeah. So last year's Crimson Sunrise uh, was probably our most popular limited edition that we've had. Being that it's 2018 and Pilot had came about in 1918, right. it's coming up to being the 100th anniversary. A lot of people have been talking about it. A lot of people have been saying, like, is this the 100th anniversary pen? But I know there's something else completely in store for the 100th anniversary, and I was wondering if you might be able to speak about that a little bit. Um, there will be a worldwide announcement on September 13th. I'll just say I've never released anything like it. They'll ship at different times in 2018, and I think you'll be uh, pretty happy about it. Very cool, very cool. Kind of taking like a little bit of like a historical turn, how has Pilot evolved over that 100-year time? Um, when Mr. Namiki and Mr. Wada started Pilot in 1918, it was we've always made fine quality writing instruments, and it really evolved in the mid 40s when we started making the Makie pens, which Makie is a um, Japanese art form dating back to the seventh century. And so the biggest thing that's stressed to Pilot um, is quality. So I'm sh a lot of people are familiar with our G2 and our friction. The same quality goes into that that goes into a ten thousand dollar Emperor. Nothing leaves those buildings without everybody being 100% satisfied with it. Go back to 1918 when we started, and here we are celebrating our 100th anniversary, and we haven't moved off the quality mark. When we started 100 years ago, one of our focal points was to make a top quality product and offer it at a fair price. And today, 100 years later, we do the same thing. Kind of atypical in today's world, wouldn't you agree? Mm -hmm. I would say so, yeah. So what has uh, surprised you about the fine writing industry like since let's say like the mid 90s when you know really things have kind of taken off as far as like the internet coming in what is what has really been surprising about how fine writing has taken on a, a different characteristic in the face of like modern technology well these days of ipads and iphones and you wouldn't think that writing would be that prevalent but quite honestly business has never been better and we're doing it with two-thirds fewer dealers i mean we're lucky that that you all have got such a good thriving business and a good account of pilots, but that's we've seen that, that the writing customer is still there, the consumer is still there. And thankfully, because of the, the internet, uh, we're able to s supply them with, uh, with the quality products that we do. Yeah, absolutely. So what, so what like, are some of the pens that you're, you tend to carry like every day and, and use every day? Dr. Grip 4 Plus 1 <laughs> <laughs> is my pen of choice. I bought this pen in Japan about six years ago before it was available here, and uh, I like it because it's a, it's a wider pen. It's got the four colors because I take notes in, in different colors. But I um, also like the new custom Urushi ballpoint. Uh, these just arrived. These are priced at $600 here on a limited basis. Not a limited edition, but a limited basis. And they're coated with uh, Urushi lacquer, so considered Machia. What about you, Ben? Custom A23 all the way. Nice. Why do I like it? One of the main reasons, two, two things actually. It's got great balance when you write with it. I think everybody knows balance is defined as how it lays in your hand and glides across the paper. 
And then the other thing is the nib. It's got a wide nib. It's a very flexible nib, a softer nib, and it just really enhances your writing experience. How do you think that most people perceive Pilot as a brand, considering that we have the one end of the spectrum is, you know, we have ballpoint like friction and G2s and things, and then you have like a higher end. Like where do, where do most people fit in as far as like where they see Pilot? Um, I think Vin hit it perfectly, just the quality aspect. Um, people who buy Pilot pens know that they are going to get the best. Um, our G2 is the industry leader in gel. Friction has been unbelievable. Um, friction clicker, seven pack. Uh, now we have the friction sticks. We are not the, the least expensive, nor will we ever be, but uh, you get what you pay for. And that's really important. I see that in everything you guys do. Like from the top, from the top to the bottom, it's always quality. I have something a little bit fun to ask. Uh, have you ever seen like mean tweets by a chance? Like, uh, you know, from, from like one of those late shows? I'm not a big late show guy. No, no. So. Well, it's, it's like, it's a segment where you have, you have celebrities come on the show, right? And you know, of course they're public figures, so they get, they get, uh, they get lampooned for virtually everything. And then uh, what they do is on the late show, they give the, they give the opportunity for the celebrity to read out these mean tweets or these like social media posts and then, you know, can kind of give their little commentary on it. So I was wondering if you'd want to, you know, read just a couple of choice, you know, comments and then we could just have your opinions or, or point just... Point and counterpoint. Yeah, yeah, point and counterpoint. Okay. Yeah, you want to do that? Sure. Okay. <laughs> hey guys, it's the 100th anniversary of our company's this year. What should we do for VP limited edition? Oh, how about plain black with three ugly lines will do? I doubt this is their 100th anniversary pen, and again, it is not. It is our usual limited edition that comes every time this year. Lines which don't even match up when the pen is closed. Um, it's not supposed to, hence its name, Crossed Lines. Okay, all right, here's a good one. Interesting looking pen. I actually feel like the VP could benefit from more patterns over single colors, so it's a good start for that. Does feel a little anticlimactic for a 100th anniversary pen, but they also don't invoke the 100th anniversary anywhere in the ad copy, so maybe it is separate from anniversary celebrations. Correct. No, next one just says, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> to the point. Okay. Okay, I can't say that word. <laughs> oh, okay. Ow. All right, we're at the end here. So yeah. suffice to say, uh, this is just Europe's way of designing their limited editions. It's a much different market there. We have submitted five suggestions to Japan. They came back and for three that they'll give new prototypes for for next year. And I can assure you all three have color in them. So it wasn't an internet joke. This really is a 2018 LE at Pilot Pen USA with a sad 100th anniversary pen. This is, well again, as John mentioned, it's not the quote unquote 100th anniversary pen. It is a limited edition. But, but that being said, well, everybody likes different things. And I think that uh, while I understand the comments and certainly don't disagree with them, there are probably some folks out there that, uh, that this is gonna resonate with and they'll, uh, they'll embrace it. So at the end of the day, I think that's where we'll wind up. I think at the end of the day, there's going to be zero cross-line pens, like, you know, that are, they're not going to be sitting around waiting for people to, exactly. to buy them, you know, at the end of the year. This being the 100th anniversary, where do you see the Pilot Pen Company in the 200th anniversary? That's an interesting question, whether or not they'll even be ink pens in another 100 years. Who knows? I just have seen in the 30 years I've been with Pilot, I've seen our pens really improve. Um, we've always had high quality pens, but just when the G2 was introduced, when Dr. Grip was introduced, and now that friction is coming along. Uh, we've also got a new art line called Enzo. Um, that we hope will get, will get very popular. Um, really, Pilot's not gonna back down on the quality, so you're just gonna see, keep getting better and better pens along the way. Well, you were mentioning the friction, and, and one of the things that we end up seeing a lot of, uh, seeing that, that there's a collaboration effort with, especially with the Rocket Book, mm -hmm. um, that it uses particularly the friction technology mm -hmm. to have the notebook work well. And the notebook is tied into the cloud in that you could use it with your smartphone, save the pages, Correct. email them, do whatever. But that the, the integral piece being the pen, it has that heat sensitive ink, you, it allows you to reset the whole entire notebook, like cook it in the microwave right. and, and be able to reuse it again, which is one of the main points of using that, uh, that notebook. I could, I could definitely see them 
like continuing to try to come up with something that will bridge the gap between, let's say, all the digital stuff and all of the uh, things that you could do analog. So the between what yesterday is and tomorrow could be, that's where they are. Mm -hmm. You have to remember too, Pilot in Japan is, is it kind of started as an ink company and just put things around it. And mm -hmm. this, this particular friction ink has been around for a while. And the um, product planning just decided to you know put it into a pen, and it's been just a just a huge success. I mean, the, the friction clicker uh, seven pack is 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 probably next to G two seven black our best selling pen. Like quantity wise, right? Yeah, very cool. Um, and there's there's other erasable ink in the world, mm -hmm. but nothing compares to our friction ink. Well, it's a unique technology. At the end of the day, yeah, it doesn't erase. It doesn't erase the traditional sense, right, John? Yeah, yeah. No, it leaves doesn't leave the uh, the dust behind, and well, it actually disappears from the heat. Disappears, yeah. Completely. You'd be surprised at how many times I've used it and have gone like that. Yeah, yeah. Just had to have it. Yeah, we've been doing it since we were kids, right? Yeah. yeah. Did you want to show this uh, collection that's here? This is the new Pilot Explorer, which will be launched November first. Um, it's a plastic barrel. It's got, it comes in um, uh, six neon colors. Um, steel nib, fine and medium. Uh, I've asked them for an extra fine because in this country, uh, the fine market is much more prevalent than, than medium and even broad. Mm -hmm. um, manufacturers suggest a retail price would be twenty nine ninety five, and they'll be shipping in um, November, November 1st. It's blue color. There's a Tiffany blue, which should be very popular in our MR series. Uh, the turquoise color is the most popular one we have. Yeah, like and then a, a gunmetal. Gunmetal gray, that's cool. And they're only in the fountain pen mode, right? Yes. Will they come with a cartridge and converter to they start will, with? They will just... come with a cartridge, not a converter. Okay, but it would still use like a standard... Um, yeah, the, the Con 40. The Con 40. Well, and it uses the same type of like uh, dip that's on the Metropolitans, right? Mm -hmm. What do you do when you see someone writing with a pilot pen like in the wild? I'm proud of who I work for, so I usually start out with nice pen and if I'm in a restaurant or something, if they say, oh, it's my favorite pen, then we might say, well, we'll trade pens for food or something. Nice. But I always, I always make a comment when I see somebody ready with a pilot pen. I've been in an airplane too where I've seen someone take out a pilot pen and his hand is full of ink and his shirt is full of ink <laughs> and I'm like, do I? Should I say something? And I did and usually it's like I left the cap off again because if you leave the cap off and even just a strand of material gets that, it's just going to bleed the pen right mm -hmm. out. Do you as well then? I most certainly do. Yeah. Probably my number one place would be, and I think John, you said in a restaurant usually, when they uh, when they bring you the check, mm -hmm. design the check. I always uh, I always notice absolutely. And, and you're not going to steal their pens like most people would. Uh, exactly. <laughs> they go the reverse on that one. They make <laughs> up one. <laughs> they know what they're writing with. Yeah. I just want to ask: Was there anything else that you want to cover? You want to look at the rhodium plate one? Yeah, one other pen that's be out. We should have this by the end of the year. Um, Japan launched this. Uh, recently, and it's a rhodium plate over brass, um, and it's just called Stripes. And we'll bring it over here on a limited basis to see how it goes. Um, it'll, it'll have a retail of $400, uh, but everybody I showed it to likes it. It seems like it's also solidly plated. It doesn't seem like it's a very, I don't think, especially with it being pilot, that they would send out something that's going to very easily like rub off the plating or chip off the plating no, and whatnot. No, the, there's, there's no chance of that. And, and with, the, with the lines here, uh, you're not so apt to see fingerprints. Like I've had this out and written with it and everything, and there's a, you can't see anything with it, whereas it was just a flat, plain surface. Was there anything else that um, you want to mention? Stay tuned for September 13th, 100 year anniversary announcement. Products available at Gold Spot. Thank you. Thank you for the plug. <laughs> Vin and I just want to thank Gold Spot for their support of Pilot. Absolutely. And uh, we look, uh, look forward to uh, many more years. Our pleasure to be here and thank you for your continued support. And thank you all out there for your continued support on purchasing our products. Yes. Dr. Grip, four plus one. <laughs> the pen of choice. Buy it at Gold Spot. <laughs> Custom 823, <laughs> buy it at Gold Spot. Very cool. So I appreciate uh, you guys joining us here today and I appreciate all of you at home or abroad or wherever you're watching this video uh, for tuning in. And please feel free to like and subscribe uh, for more uh, pen videos, interviews, and all sorts of fun unboxings and writing samples that we do. Uh, stay inky, my friends. Take care. Thank Bye. you.